on the squirrels this morning. We finally have a nice sunny day for it. I'm going to be using my Virac HW100 in 2.2 sub 12 with a Hick Alpex on top. And we're going to see how many squirrels we can get this morning. We're finally set up now, going to be doing some squirrel shooting. This will be the last time that I shoot this summer. I uh, filled this particular feeder up a few weeks ago. Seem to be really slow starting, um, but it looks as if they're just starting to hit it now. So hopefully this should be a productive morning. And as you just heard, that was a Jace walking, which has now appeared and is stealing some of the peanuts. The time has pressed on, probably around 10 minutes after that Jay, and a squirrel has now come into the feeder. Also it looks like they're not a fan of the green scotch bright, for whatever reason they just seem to be ripping it to shreds. I think they prefer the red scotch bright. So for some future squirrel feeders, I'll probably make them with the red scotch bright so they're not tearing it all to shreds all the time. And because this squirrel is very early this morning, the light is still trying to get into the woodland. So the camera is struggling, just that little touch for now. But anyway, we have this squirrel on the feeder, exactly where I want it. We just need to wait for it to pick up a peanut, I'll line myself up and then I'll take my shot. First one down. We are off the mark. It's about 20 minutes after the first one and now we have another squirrel which has come in. This one seems to be sitting up in the tree, hasn't committed down onto the feeder. So I'm watching it with my crosshair just in case it stays still long enough for me to take a shot. Another 20 minutes has passed and this nice J has appeared. These are not on the list here so I will not be shooting them at the owner's request. But there is a squirrel just below it on the next branch. And this squirrel does not seem too happy. It's probably spotted the dead squirrels already on the floor. But it moves into a better position and gives me an opportunity. Down it drops, another clean headshot, another one out of the tree, and this particular feeder is on a bit of a hillside. They always land and then just roll off out of sight to the right. So generally when I go and pick them up at the end of a session, there's just one big pile of bodies, all collected in a big pile. And I'm not sure what the reason is this morning, but they all seem to be staying in the tree. So this is the fourth squirrel of the morning. It actually ran down onto the feeder, I thought I was in luck, but then it just ran straight back up onto the tree, and again, I'm having to take my opportunities when I can. So that's four in total. We've had three off the tree and only one off the feeder. We now have another squirrel coming in. So I'm hoping that I'm going to get another one which is on the feeder as it makes shooting much more easier. And that's what I like to see. Open the door, get a peanut, and settle nicely. Instantly after shooting that fifth one, I can hear another one barking in the tree somewhere. So I try to locate it with my Alpex, and then find it sticking its head out. Four 
falls, drops to the ground, and I can just make out its tail. And then it's gone. It's very windy, but we've managed to get six. I think I've only had two on the feeder out of the six. Uh, they do seem quite nervous and they keep staying up in the trees, so if I get the chance, I pop them out of the top of the trees and watch them fall. Well that's what I prefer to see, a squirrel which knows exactly what it wants, just comes straight into the feeder, gets itself a peanut, starts chomping away, then gets a bit of lead thrown its way. But now we're straight on to the next one. And this one, which looked quite promising at first, has gone into the tree like a lot of the others so far this morning. But something else has just caught my eye, and now we have another squirrel which is coming in. I'm hoping that this one might go onto the feeder, but it is in that area. So I've got one which is currently up in the top of the tree, and then I've got this one down below. And at this point I haven't decided which one I want to look at. But this one certainly does look a bit more promising. But by this point I've already made my mind up. Because I'm already looking up into the tree. Watch out down below. And 15 minutes has passed since I shot another one out of the tree and scared the living daylights of the other one which was currently on that log of doom. But we have another keen enthusiast who's just come straight in, knows exactly what he wants, he's just gone straight for a peanut. But decides the log is a bit more of a comfortable position. It's been a couple of hours sat in a hide, I'm happy with how it's going. I managed to get nine in total before having to get out and go and retrieve these. And the reason why I'm retrieving them now is because I've had quite a few which have been in the trees and been a little bit irritated about what they can see on the floor. So for me the best option is to go and clear everything up and hopefully we can start again. And it looks like it seems to have worked. We have another squirrel which has come in. A sign of encouragement is when they do get onto that little platform. And I did leave a, a few little peanuts just outside. That one was pretty straightforward, which is what I like to see. We have our first squirrel which has appeared from my left hand side. Usually they come from either the top of the trees directly above or from the right hand side. And it also looks like the squirrels are coming more direct to the feeder. But there is a slight issue with this one. 
it looks relatively young and it doesn't seem to know how the feeder works but when I did my first retrieve I decided just to put a few peanuts out on the ledge just in case something like this happens and it looks as if it was a good decision Looks as if this squirrel's caught me by surprise. But again, it's just come very direct to the feeder. Another one down, another one rolling off to the right hand side. We see our first little songbird on our feeder, first one of the morning. Directly behind is a rather irritated squirrel. Probably seeing all the bodies on the floor. So this could be another tree job. Because as this one is very irritated, it's taken a long time to come in. I've had to really speed up the footage of this one. But it does eventually come into the feeder, which I was quite surprised about. Looks like it has calmed down slightly. Doesn't look as irritated as it was just a few moments ago. So we're hoping that this is going to lead to something. Twenty minutes later after that rather irritated squirrel which took its time to come in this one has appeared, this time from the left again, and seems to be coming in quite direct, even though it seems to be a bit of a tree hugger. But if you stay there long enough, I will be taking the opportunity. Another nice clean headshot. All my shots have been very clean this morning, really happy with the way the rifle's performing and the way I'm shooting. And I've decided at this point that I am going to call it because I've had a really good morning, I've got more than expected, everything's gone really well and we've got a lot taken down. Well it looks as if it's been another red letter day on the screws. we managed to get 14 in total even if they were a little bit shy coming into the feeder for whatever reason some of them just weren't coming in they weren't committing they were messing about on the floor or up in the trees but we did manage to get a few taken out of the trees so a really good morning and if you enjoyed this make sure you check out some of my other hunting videos and i'll see you on the next one so thank you very much for watching